Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at a raced version, but in 164th. This is Kyle Larson's 2021 Nashville raced version in the 164th scale. Uh, I believe they made uh, every win after this one in 164th, but um, it was kind of hit or miss for the first bundle of them, but... Uh, as you can see here, Kyle Larson on the box here. No, There's no difference between a regular box and a race win box. You can see number five, uh, Nashville win. Uh, 2021 Camaro does not say how many were made. Action, still the choice of champions. Uh, all that stuff there. There's our barcode there. And then it's gray on the top. So pretty basic on the color of it. It's not, I, I actually would have pegged it to be maybe blue or red, but I guess it's only gray. So, uh, you know, that's I guess just the color, color that was chosen there. But that is our box. Um, now we're going to go ahead and zoom in and take a look at the car itself. It is a raced version, um, so we're going to take a look at what we can see here. So, uh, as you can see on the left side, we have our Valvoline, or on the hood, we have our Valvoline logo. On the side, we have the Cup Series logo, MetroTech, Tarleton, uh, number five, HendrickCars.com, then the original motor oil. You can see that original motor oil looks like it's literally messed up you know you can kind of see how the silver lining behind it is like off center so it almost looks like 3d ish um what can i say it's just unfortunately somewhat normal for these 164s um which is not exactly an awesome feeling uh but there you can see the ethanol ring on the back and then the fuel streaking behind it with the valvoline logo in the back uh, the real race detail is up here on the nose. You can see the tape on the grill, uh, a little bit of rubber buildup there on the nose as well. Right front's not as dirty as a left front, but you can see it's pretty clean up there. It's it's not too bad. Uh, the right side of the car doesn't show a ton either. You can see it's pretty darn pr pretty darn clean. Uh, outside of the the black spot where the tailpipes are, um, which is you know normal on raced versions, um, and then a little bit of buildup. Otherwise, it is very very clean. Um, obviously, the windows they never do any race detail on the 164s. Um, maybe a couple little marks on the back bumper, but otherwise it is a very clean car. Granted, that doesn't surprise anyone because it was also a very clean race. He went out front and led like every lap and just ran away from the field. So it's not like it was his, uh, his Bristol win where he's going to have some contact and was running in the field and all that. So, um, but yeah. So pretty darn clean, still a good solid raced version, get a little bit of race detail on a 164th, um, but definitely not our, our most raced up uh, version even uh, to do reviews on today. So um, anyway, that'll pretty much wrap up the review on this one. If you have enjoyed, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more diecast content. Stay tuned, we got some more 164th, we got the Bristol version, which is much more raced, and then a Jeff Gordon raced version, which should be kind of fun. So uh, anyway, though, that'll wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. This has been Race Grays, and we'll see you in the next diecast review.